Hey, what's up? Hi! You're back! This is Vegan RV. Yeah. Kevin. Laura. And we are on our couch. Yep. This we is are. a tour of the couch. This is us, and we're and on the couch, and this is a pillow. Anyway. Spread. Yeah. Uh, this is the roughest road we've ever been on. Yes. Even crazier than the road to Chenna Hot Springs. Yep. US 1. Yep. Whatever the one is in California that was really crappy. Yeah. I don't remember. It was insane. Yeah, it had all kinds of crazy things going on. Well, first, what road is it? The road to McCarthy. Yes. Oh, man. There's lots of warnings when you talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't take my RV down there. That's what everybody says. <laughs> right. Mate, you, you're taking that? Yeah. <laughs> and when you show up, they're like, did you drive that all the way here? No, we flew it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How do you think we got it here? So anyway, it's 60 miles long. There are parts where it's single lane, and it's also probably one of the prettier drives we've done. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing. Yep. Um, so, 60 miles, I think it took us three and a half hours to do this, so you go slow. Yeah, you go real slow. Yep. Um, so, it's an old uh, railroad bed. Yeah. Um, there used to be no road to McCarthy. It was just a rail that went to McCarthy and then to Kennecott. And when they closed the copper mine... The Kennecott copper mine. Yes. they um, First it like was idle for a while, and then they eventually dug up the railroad ties and um, turned this into a road. But they didn't work very hard at it. We talked to one lady who said that... Um, like the impressions of the the railroad ties were still in the road when she first started driving it. So well, it like, what they did, they <laughs> just basically pulled up the rail part and covered it with gravel. Yeah. Over time, gravel disappears. They left the spikes. People were puncturing their tires with the spikes. Um, so it was really bad. And you got some of the ruts from the, the actual where the railroad ties were. Um, they since kind of cleaned it up. You know, there's still the occasional spike that comes up. Mm -hmm. That's where you get the warning of, hey, you should bring a tire. You should bring a spare. You should bring a, a spare for the spare. Mm -hmm. In the end, we didn't need it. Yeah. But if you need it out there, there's nothing out there. And yeah. it takes them forever to get to you and to find the part that you may need. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, yeah. Good yeah, times. because uh, the nearest big city is, what, Anchorage? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Chitna's not terrible. Toke isn't that far away. Valdez isn't that far away. I mean, those aren't huge towns, but, mm -mm. yeah, your closest big town's Anchorage. Everything will probably come out of Anchorage. Yeah. But they have huge towing vehicles out there, so. Yeah. Because they know stuff gets stuck. Yeah. And, like, one of the first things you see when you get there is there's a payphone, like an actual working payphone, and there are notices posted around that, and the one right on top uh, says tire repair. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Uh, so you'll you'll encounter dirt road. You will encounter pavement, pavement that, that's broken up, uh, all kinds of random potholes and stuff. So, again, just take it slow. Yep. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll show you the first part of that right now. And this will be from, we're going to go ahead and start it at the, what used to be a railway tunnel and they actually blew out the top. So you've got a rock wall that you drive through. It's a single lane. It's basically like if you've seen the never ending story, when the guy walks through the two Pharaoh things, that's, that's what it felt like. It was really tight. Yeah. So, yeah. Take you there now. Yep. Be back in a minute. Yes. We're going to go through here, cross over the river, and then it's on the right. Oh, dude, this is cool. Uh, oh, my God.
Awesome. So, well, what you'll see is when we went through the, you got to see us go through the, the rock pillar things. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw us go over a bridge. Actually, right after the bridge is where we camped. Mm -hmm. There's the campsite there. On the Copper there, River. On the Copper River. Yep. And then when you come out of the campground and you take a right and you go up the dirt hill, that was rough. Yeah, that, uh, was, a t that was a pretty steep hill. Yeah, but beautiful views. Yeah. So now we're going to show you what they call the Cuscawana Bridge. This bridge was originally built back in the day by hand, negative 60 degree weather. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. <laughs> Insanity. Yeah. They had three crews working around the clock. One worked on the right hand side of the bridge, one of them worked on the left hand side of the bridge, and one of them worked in the middle. And they all met up to make this bridge. After the closing, you know, they ripped off the uh, the rail ties because it, it was just a rail bridge or a railroad bridge. They took off the ties and you would just drive over the top of it. With no guardrails. Nothing. Nothing. It's it's still wooden on top. And it's like, I don't know, I just read it. It's like 200 and maybe 50 feet above the bottom, the river. Yeah. It's way up there. They ended up putting up the, uh, what did I just call them? Guardrail. The guardrails. Well, but the, but they're just like regular road guardrails, not like bridge ones. Yes. Yeah, it, it's, like it's like maybe a couple feet off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, not stopping an RV from going. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. uh, it was, it was, yeah. uh, it was a little terrible for me driving over it. Yeah. Uh, so you guys will get to see that. You also get to see, and this is the National Park Service told us to go do this. Yes. Underneath the bridge is a catwalk that yes. spans the whole thing. So we only went basically halfway. Because you would walk it and then walk all the way back. So we went halfway, which is right over the river. Yeah, totally. So we're walking underneath this bridge and, you know, cars are going overhead. It was, and it shakes. Yeah. But it was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. It was so cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. And so the deck of the bridge is wood. Yeah, I thought I just said that. Did you? Yeah. I said it's all wood. Okay. We're reiterating. Yeah, I just want you it to is understand. Wood. It was just wood. Yeah, but the catwalk is all metal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's very sturdy. It doesn't wobble or even when cars are going over. It, yeah, that bridge is solid. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's it solid. doesn't freak you out too much. The now getting to the catwalk, you know, we had to use some ingenuity and in stepping on people in mm -hmm. order to get up yeah. there and over. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not easy to do, but once you get up there, yeah. the catwalk is awesome. It's yeah. very safe. The handrails are all the way down, and they're, you know, a good four feet off off the side. So yeah. definitely a must-do. If you can do it, do mm -hmm. it. Stop. There's plenty of pull-off space yeah. to do this. Check it out. Yeah. So this bridge here. used to be, well, it's one lane now, but it used to be just one lane and no guardrails at all. Holy crap. Well, it used to be a train bridge. Yeah. So we are uh, on a catwalk uh, really high up. Um, 
show you what's going on here. And that. And you know what? Kevin is here. He did it. He's over there. Let's go see how he's doing. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. It's so freaking pretty. Yeah, it's so... And yeah. you get to see the wood from the bridge. Oh yeah, that you just drove over here. I don't know if you... Yeah. What? <laughs> Crazy. How awesome was that? <laughs> so cool. Yeah, that was so much yeah. fun. Uh, again, definite stop and do. Yeah. Yep. Don't pass that by. So now, what are we going to see, Laura? Uh, we're going to head the rest of the way into McCarthy. Um, Which, uh, okay, so the, just to give you guys perspective, again, it's 60 miles mm -hmm. there. We're only at mile 17. And that was the nicest part of the road. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. Everything after 17, it's like they entice you. They're like, oh, it's not so bad. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> and then you hit after mile 17. And it is every bit of, yeah. I thought the RV was going to fall apart. So, yeah, you'll, anyway. <laughs> you'll see in the video, I've got, um, like in the different clips, you'll see the different road conditions at, at various points. It's yeah, it's it's all yeah. over the place, and they sneak up on you. A lot mm -hmm. of the ruts that are there that are hidden yeah. are in the shadows. It's just take it slow. Yeah. So the rest here on out, there's I don't know if there's really much points of interest, but a couple of things. There's a lake called Long Lake where a lot of this, it's the longest, uh, is it gestation period? No, not gestation period. No, um, spawning? L yeah, longest spawning period of any salmon pretty much in the world. Like they spawn like nine months out of the year, which is crazy. Uh, so that was super cool. You're gonna see, uh, Probably a lot of mountains where there should have been some doll sheep, mountains, and lakes, mountain goats and stuff, and moose. Well, but we did well, see but we did see a moose, but we yeah. didn't see the other ones. Yeah. Uh, yep. So the moose were super cute. You'll see a moose and a moose baby, mm -hmm. and the moose baby jumping or running. Yeah. It was really cute. Yep. Uh, let's see. We're gonna so we're gonna take you all the way to base camp, yep. which is at the foot of the footbridge. And then you're going to come back out with us. We're going to do the the base camp in McCarthy in a different mm -hmm. video. But uh, this will give you a perspective of the rest of the road mm -hmm. and the road back. Yeah, so the way out, there's only, um, there's only a couple of videos because we kind of saw most of it on the way in. But um, we've got us going over that Cuscalana Bridge. So, yeah, so, um, the motorhome experiment, yeah, they went across the yeah, bridge Yeah, they went already. first and then they... Um, they videoed us coming across the bridge, so you get to see that and us pulling up. Yep. And then you'll see uh, the rock facing gap on the way out. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Are they going to see the thing in Chitna? They're not going to see the thing in Chitna. We'll show them that we'll show on you the that way then. to Valdez. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, so enjoy that, and we'll be back in just a bit. Yes. See ya!
good photo? You can't see the baby, she's standing. Yeah, she's standing in front of it. Dude, you guys can back up. There's nobody here. So we're not gonna bother you, baby. Don't worry. Man, she definitely got in between us and that baby. Oh, look at it! <laughs> That's Kevin and Laura crossing the bridge. We stole their phone. That's amazing. How are they filming themselves while they're driving across the bridge? <laughs> Kevin is probably peeing himself right now. Eagle has landed. You made it. One piece. Okay. Oh man. I'll tell you what, yeah. just watching just the part of the video of the RV going over the bridge is just awesome. Yeah. It was so cool. It was crazy driving yeah. the RV. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, um, that was a super fun time. Yes. So a, a lot of the facts that we got while, tra you know, going back and forth to McCarthy mm -hmm. was from the Wrangell St. Elias Visitor Center, which is mm -hmm. 30 miles north of the actual... Entrance on. of the McCarthy Road. Mm -hmm. Stop there. Yeah. Beautiful video or beautiful sights of three of the more higher peaks mm -hmm. uh, in the Wrangell St. Elias. It's mm -hmm. not the tallest because St. Elias is the tallest, but that's in Canada. It's the largest uh, national park in the United States. Or, no, largest national wildlife area i don't know i'll put in the I'll preserve what it is <laughs> okay. wildlife preserve yeah, a thing yeah anyway it's the largest non-polar ice field it's huge mm -hmm. and mccarthy is like that road to mccarthy is like this much of it it's so yeah. so, so tiny much else going on yeah <laughs> it's gigantic mm -hmm. and most of it is only accessible via air or hike yeah like there's not a lot of roads in there yeah, so at the Visitor Center... Yeah, so at the Visitor Center, there's a beautiful view of the mountains, but also some of the nicer uh, park rangers that we come across mm -hmm. are very knowledgeable, like, took us around a whole tour. But what did we get there? We got an audio CD that you... They'll tell you exactly where to start it. And 
it'll narrate your way all the way down the McCarthy Road. So you yep. get to hear all the history and the, it points out the points of interest and it, that's how we like knew what was going on most of the time. Yeah, so what it does is it's like when you hit mile marker 17, hit play on track four yeah. and it'll tell you the history. So it helps break up that drive, mm -hmm. uh, gives you a lot of facts and just uh, super, I mean, I haven't seen that in any other park yet. No, seriously. And so it was super nice to have. Mm -hmm. um, and on the way out, if you head back by the center, it's always nice to, instead of throwing away the CD, give it back to them, mm -hmm. recycle, That's what we did, reduce, yeah. reuse. Yep. That whole idea. Um, so we did that. And it was awesome. Yes. So we did it. Would you do it? Would you do it? It's crazy. Six, it... It's 120 miles and it's rough, rough, <laughs> rough, rough road. Yeah. Okay, actually, so one other thing. If you do take your RV, there's really no reason to take your tow car unless you get stuck. Because there's no driving in McCarthy. So just so people know that, yeah. like your tow vehicle's not going to do you any good yeah. unless you have to drive out because your RV's broken or mm -hmm. something like that. But there's also uh, shuttles that go back and forth. So you don't have to take your RV in. You can stay in a hotel. You can do whatever. Mm -hmm. But staying in your RV there at base campsite. Right on the river. Oh, yeah. amazing. We'll get to all that in the next video. We're yep. going to talk about what we did in McCarthy. Um, we thought that the road to McCarthy deserved its own video because it's... I know a lot of people are apprehensive about it, mm -hmm. and we get it. You may or may not want to take your RV down there. Um, we did it. Um, nothing catastrophic happened. Yep. And if it so, did, you're in your RV. Yeah. There's places to stay. There's, I mean, just, yeah. just go do it. Yeah. It's awesome. Anyway, so we're going to end it. Yep. If you like the video or like us, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. <laughs> If you like looking at pictures and you want to see all this stuff up to date, check out our Instagram, Vegan mm -hmm. RVR. Check out yep. our Facebook, Vegan RVR. Yep. Just check us out. We're fun. We're awesome. We're vegan. See you later. Peace.